However, per Article 94 5 of the 1992 Constitution, 1992 Constitution, a person caught under Article 94 2 CI would not be qualified to be a legislator for 10 years after he had served his or her sentence. It is the content, it is this contention of the plaintiff that Mr. Idrisu, who is a legislator on a ticket of the New Patriotic Party, prior to contesting as an MP, was a resident of Australia. The plaintiff, Yao Broja Jemfi, says to the court in his writ that he has evidence to the effect that while in Australia, Mr. Idrisu fraudulently used the credit card of one Mr. Gideon Tafon, a Cameroonian national to make purchases for which he was charged and convicted and i quote the plaintiff has said that while rest so basically from what i am reading here no this case was sent to court before election 2020 uh no this case was filed in 2022 so if this was filed in 2022 how come say that what the case we who an attorney general does not care about this case attorney general has not shown any interest in this case and now year 2023 attorney general is so busy going after jachi question so it is looking more like a man for one said the attorney general is being selective about case or say odi any day so odi you know it is true my never has a map pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. You pull the breaking news and then I say a story where I hear me in 2019 or 2020 before elections. I catch the gunner for a ton on MP no or a criminal. Yeah, channel. Oh, I brought you pain. Am I in crap time? I made a better gunner for say, sir. MPP ton on MP no or a crumb for he's not supposed to enter parliament. And then you may story about and say, a yeah. Broja Jemfi edi asemono ako court. Edi nkrata aka hon. Se e wose ni menimi ya no Supreme Court. Obia o ye kromfua ya chene da wa demu. A our criminal record no. O need the right to hold any political office in Ghana. Nanton, nanton, nanton. Enye tolon, nanton. Edi nisi se, edi nisi se. Thank you very much. Nanton MP. Mr. S, get me his picture. So I'm going to take my time and read a ye. Read na. A ye broja jemfidi ako court no. Na ya nisha se emrana supreme court nanton nanton enye tolon I'm sorry I'm sorry nanton. Now this is the document. Ah, I'm se tolon ozo se nanton. Let me read the document here first. Tolon MPPs tolon tolon T O L O N tolon tolon enye nanton. Why na wase nanton tolon. Kolong, <laughs> book back is back again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mimi, you're going to buckle, you're going to buckle. Yeah, you're going to buckle, you're going to buckle. Book back, you're going to buckle. And money up and a tingling, a tingling, yo. And money up and tia. It's also penny here. And money up and tingling, a tingling, yo. And money up and tia. And money up and tia. Bola, 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 bola. Ha. Tolong, kolong. Ha. Enjoy my roofy. Kolong. What's the game that I bought down? Mami, touch them. Now the other thing I want to say, aye, talon for MP no. Mamu confusing me waha. In current time, I be to judge. I be to judge 2020. Me assure us 2019. Mister, I think the the episode is there. Me be chire chire. We say talon MP no. Aye, crown for or your criminal record. He's not supposed to be in Parliament. As usual, Kevin Taylor bought them. As usual, Kevin Taylor the way you want John Mahama and the trap on Achibila. A year, brother, you feel the assembly accord. A year, court. We need the attorney general to treat this, treat this matter with all the agency, because with this one, the facts are there. He can fly to wherever the criminal case happened, and he does not even need to fly. He can email them. Talon and PPMP. Ah, and he didn't do. My main king kind ten time a chain or Australia no police document a chess a chino or criminal recorder or Janet Strom or your ex convict ever say Ghana na obey your politics every rap parliament in church. I mean, 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 I mean,
Sa attorney general, you could follow the most of the money. You have heard the Supreme Court. Be. Mese by election there. E tataso. E tataso. <laughs> now, on the 5th of a year, December 22, 2011, Assembly of Australia. MRJ Tafon. A year, 3 Brookford Court. Janda Court WA6164. Janda Court WA6164. Asemwe SC Ewo Western Australia Police MPP MPO Asem SC in the church room of the King Kai Church and Sunny Abanda Samoso. Godfrey Dami Attorney General Way or your Attorney General on Tier Futu or a foot soldier political a year Attorney General on Jenny Ghana. Now Tolon MP no so Sana Yatri Pang or a crumb for. Now, who okay, can reference number na three one zero five one 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 six one five one zero four one zero? Incident number near three one zero five one 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 six one five one zero four one one zero. Oko Australian police system ni ma ebe boi piye asemwe abrofu chantro mini Kennedy Japan court case na noba America na sa wo enter Kennedy Japan versus Kevin Taylor and Loud Silence Media gigim ebe piye. The of course, you know, make a chill. Do we need any do? Do we need? I brought you no no. I told him. Now, when you read the document, the free a year Australia police one banana. Be better him. Jan the court. Jan the court. Now I say, Habib Idrisu. Ah, a year told him for MP. Oh yeah, MPP ni Habib Idrisu. Mr. Mr. S, get me his picture so that I can read uh, the document side by side with his picture. <laughs> Thank you very much for bringing him, Mr. S. Let me move it onto the system. P Black, BBM, Avram, I have friend and I miss you. No homo. Mami chile chile mu. Che. Aha, in chile chile mu ni ye. MP we ni ye kan asem no tolong. MPP MP, your friend Honorable Habib Idrisu. Now some da ponoso, a brofo kratan and bebe can catch him, asante, a yoko four, infant four, with a motor brofo kratan for Moyadi. A yemen you are not crying for Muntimika H H, in crying for H H, it is, it is not H, it is H. Now it's H in crying for Moyadi. Now it's H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H a spell, a letter, a chinya, a no h, and crack, mammy. Eva, Eva, over ya, and grab for. Mammy cast him in ten crime for a senior to a case or so. And crime for Sibia, a ya, India for ne Pakistan for eight to me cut fifty cent, I'm kind of pity sentinel. Monso, I ya h, the letter h, and ye h, a ye h, Mokamiti, etta, h, not h. H is not H, it is H in kind of form. I'm warning. You are my guys. A e, come e, class to say, a e, e listing, a e book, a e B C letter say, a e critical listening. A e, 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 e in your classroom there, a e B B O F T, F T, F T, true one C. A e concentrate on classes. H, it is not H. Stop saying H as H. When I'm done, I'll call you the guns to come and tell me if you can pronounce H, not H. All right, let's do. Let's do the D. We can go. I'm a Philippe Zou. I know the word Javi. Okay. Okay. Me, 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 I'm a Kevin. I'm a baby. I'm a darling boy. Kevin Taylor. Eton. H. Eta. H. Eton. H. E. Minka. E. E. Pronounce. H. Pronounce. H. Minka. E. Pronounce. H. Not. H. E. Pronounce. H. Eta. Aha. All right. Mommy and Twasso. I can't be Google. I can't go. I can't go. I feel like I'm a child. Letter ni niye, na okan letter na, ansana mebe kan yi broja jemfi, kot na wakono, yebe chile chile mo. Ose, Habib Idrisu, was charged with one charge of forgery, and ten charges of fraud, in relation to purchases he made using the mastercard belonging to you. Police for letter omo tron, edi akoma nipana, eye Habib Idrisu, Tolong for MP, a born Kronoa, South Australia, no. Police for the say, Yamua Habib Idrisu, 
2011 ya tinu kunya or a game boy <laughs> or ya fraud police phone say eh ya mr j tafon the habib idris ugane niya and the oye oh mp watolono oye oh 2011 ewo eh ukado no se owea oh ukado oh master card eh ya credit card no and owea oh ya no police for exchange no se o de bokro no na omu charge no one charge of eh bibi a friend no eh ya forgery ya kasa forgery ya che se o oh de koti kwain adani eh ya bibi or trodin bi no adani obi signature or de the watron we bi so atron akoa na dindan no e de ni ato ho adindan e de for forgery e no mo se omo sa e bon 10 eye 10 charges of fraud ye ka se fraud 10 charges ah na che se we did dream about kronu adadan kofo abomo po esisi omo ewi omo fraud na no no sa na e fra no bro fo no no fraud na mi cheche bo twi no we are both forgery first. I'm say first, no forgery. Or the koti kwanswa dindane dindane. E ye e nyoma biya e ni se ye tron e sa. Or the krata se miya. We cha tron adane dane ni pa bi. Or the dimbiya se bebi e ni so de se. We sign signature bi o bebi e ni so de sign. E ye krono. I'm the charge ba kwa bono. E no masa bono charge du. Na sa charge du no. E ye fraud. Na bro vuka se fraud da. Wa fa koti kwanso. A bo a po. E bu ni pa bu kata. E chan konfo. A da da omo bu omo. A bo omo krono. E di omo dream. E di omo brim. E di omo sikano. A jesu. Sikano wa e kwa ye niso o jesu so. Ni tri na mi chile chile muno. Nen kwe ni mu. Nen se o ye konfo pa. O ye wi pa. Ye ye ye. Nen se. First class e wi. Di a miki kwa ni a ta yi. Difference bi e ni mu. Yes a ta yi asakra. Sorry a ta yi. On the 28th of November 2011. Idrisu appeared in the Perth Magistrate Court and pleaded guilty to all of the charges. I'm um, say, a year 28 November 2011, a year Idrisu on the TV. See, you had court. Ah, I was South Africa. Your first South Court, no. A year court, a year friend, no. A year Perth Magistrate Court. Now, oba hano, oba catch the gun. A year Australia, the police for much in India and say, and okay. Wabo krono, we did dream, we did a po, wabo forji. Krono e da tunu si nina o South Africa no, waji tum, wawona bo krono ni nina. Hey! Wa pleadi guilty, ya kasi wa pleadi guilty ya. Nake se, wa jia tum se, uye ji, uye kronfo, wa di dream, wa bo krono, wa bo apo, wa bo nkofo bukata. Wa di koti kwa aswa, dindane, dindane, nyoma, e uya obi, inseme ja padie. E nene feno, pleading guilty to fraud. I mean, no one should have changed him. A human idea, Miss Mikabi, a human, a ding rough. Hey, Mr. S, Mr. P, my uncle here. In such a media, it's a time to change my mind. Time, Shanyama. Okay, okay. On this one, I had deputy majority whip our parliament. Oba parliamenta MPP for side no ye yeah, come majority whipper on in a MPP for kotwa ba oh muni na muntu ni say on in a epeni no di enim deputy majority whip into MPP for kwa sa manu tu mi wa parliament oya kronfo take you a mwa boating ena e ye MPP a ban e kufwa domo ene e ye a search e mensa bonsu onu anka sa sono e ye ni di no no onu se kubo kronu usku ena mabema akwa we e ye di di bre e wa parliament ya beba ho na e bichwe mu na mi chichim. Now, who can can kratan e free Australia by na? In kratan se. Restitution was ordered by the magistrates in the sum of $4,999 to you. Amu se. Court ni se mra se. E ya branti e ye Mr. Idrisu no. Habib Idrisu no. Court ni se ni se. Sika ode wo Mr. E ye diyan. Gideon. E Mr. Mr. Uh, Tafon, o credit card no kwa ye, dream o diko diye ni nina, kwa ti se ni se, on tia e ye, almost $5,000 en famao, if you say, e ye si kebiya o ye free o card so. O kwa ni ma, o se, in relation to this, Idrisu stated, he had paid you back the full amount. And the police for the se, Mr. E ye, Mr. Tafon, Idrisu se si kano o ye ano, o ye tumo kwa di se o ye ano, o se o ye tia ni nina amao. 
if he has not then you must make an application to the court pet magistrate court 501 hay street Perth, for restitution and abro for the say Sir Sikano, Sir Mr. Aye Habib Idris Ntiamawa, by your report, quick, quick, na yanko soni pa, if you say, or your comfort. Now, you will need to quote the following charge numbers. You will need to quote the following charge numbers. And charge numbers, I'm going to charge you when you are charged, I had the album, Mr. Habib Idrisu, I was crown, fraud, I was in Australia. Charges on one you, charge numbers, I'm NPP, are you ready to go for? Because you have one go on. Charge number one, eleven four three nine five seven. Charge one. Charge number two, eleven four three five nine five eight. Charge number three, yeah, eleven four three nine five nine. Charge number four, eleven four three nine sixty. Charge number five, eleven four three nine sixty one. Charge number six, eleven four three nine sixty two. Charge number seven, eleven four three nine sixty three. Charge number eight, eleven four three nine sixty four. Charge number nine, eleven four three nine sixty five. Charge number ten, eleven four three nine sixty six. Charge number eleven, eleven four three nine sixty seven. Nini na ya charge krono charge ya de bo Habib Idrisu NPP four at the number so many MP. I was tolong. Just say MPP, just MPP there. Me your chain, me your dua. A krono phone kwa. Last me take it in Japan. And this is how I made my money. When I was in the US, in Bronx, I was driving a taxi and then, uh, uh, I was making $3,000 a week because at the same time, I bought eight times. Oh, but damn. Oh, when I call Bronx, go to taxi. What but damn? Another time, another time, no. Or today is how I made my money. It was through green card. We frauded people and then we took Ghanaians to America and changed names. The next day, or today is how I'm, Nipa Bako, you made your money through different, 10,000 different means. Akron 4. And I was driving taxi, and every week I was making three thousand dollars. What about damn? Now I'm going to buy you taxi or bronze. And then I bought a taxi, and then when I bought a taxi, I get a taxi to the person, and I was working two jobs, and I'll make three hundred. I say, oh, but I'm home. Because I'm going to follow. Now you need a travel agent, you need a travel agent. Because I say, we want to make a big job be a bronze. Oh, nineteen years, and then now we need three thousand dollars a week. Oh, bronze. Now I'm filing taxes, and I say, out here, oh, free. Who is it, Jimmy Ong, Kennedy? What about you say restitution? Now. During the investigations, police seized the following items which Mr. Idrisu purchased with your card and has been fortified. Oh, sorry, forfeited and can be released to you on presentation of this letter to a year AUX office Rooney at Murdoch Police Station. Omuse. Time on your investigation, Omuse. Mr. Idrisu. Echo via a year, Mr. G. Tafon Cardinal, a year, Mr. Gideon Tafon Cardinal. Nyoma or D. S.O.P. Yeah, or D. Ria or a game boy. Aqua, we or a game boy. Into Nyoma, Mr. Idrisu, Eddie Card, New Ria, and Nino. I brought full police for the say, Omojini, Nina, into so Pesanio, meaning in a umbra police war, no more for your money in a man. On record, no, this has been stamped. And the Oko a year Perth Magistrate Quarter. This document is there. Now Oko as you are yours faithfully. A year Simon Baxter on a Sergeant one zero five four one zero on no N M Medoc Police Station on a D S A S M U E N I M. And now by Frontline First stamp on no bustle. It is a court document. You can follow up. Now where your M P P M P Tolong M P. Habib Sakawa Idrisu or Nene yet MP before MP or Tsunanopa. We expect the Attorney General to take immediate action by election. Idea at a castle. Now, maybe the crown my this guy is a Yahoo MP or a day or a Yahoo MP Game Boy MP. We have a catch or say NDC for a crumb for Mahama ya crumb for NDC for Nakwasi Dinichi. Obama catch or say, Oh, Papa Kevin Taylor Kwasi and Papa Mobra, a re a re to say, No, about Ghana, Wabedi MP. Where person don't want to talk Jachi question. A re four way number per se, Omo equalize Bibia or Ghana. My boy, you say restitution, Rofuna the rough restitution. 
Now, my men church said, I didn't even want to tell you. In the area of Na Roger Jemfi had a document way. I said, such story with me in 2000. Mr. S, try and find the story. Me in 2019, who said, and I'm catching a gun for the way or your comfort. Well, we follow me at Chapano. This story is not new. I did it in 2020 or 2019. I'm catching a gun for this guy has committed a crime. This story is not new. I have told you people about four years ago, I know this guy was a criminal. Made the story in the Baha, the main media ignored it. It is in our archives, loud silence media. Without your respect, videos, you will find it. And I'll be happy if Mr. S, you can pull this out so that I will show people. We are not going to do Osla, Mr. S. No. Save it. Mr. S, save it. Now, in Tibroya Jemfi, ask what they call court. You know, let me read a little bit to you. Na yantua a ye juma di so. Oh, the crime wasn't, thank you very much. The crime wasn't committed in South Africa. The crime was committed in Australia. I'm sorry, it's a slip of tongue. Thank you very much, comrade. Maybe I would say, imagine say crime they're committing or a year South Africa. It is not South Africa. It is Australia. I have friends, sir. I'm here Australians. I'm about South Africa a lot. In the Oko, South Africa, there are a lot of Australians there. Yes. And when you go to Australia, there are a lot of South Africans. In fact, the Australian English, no, is similar to that of South Africa. We have lived in South Africa. We know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. It was a slip of tongue. What I want to say, they say, Sakronuwe no, or born wa Australia. E hono kobo, Sakronuwe. Thank you. And I've corrected this. Thank you very, very much. Oye kronfotechi amwa boatin. Now, Brunia, Brunia Jemfi, as for the court, let me read a little bit. And that young court and the case in the so. Our time is very, very good today. Okay, Brunia Jemfi, court document now. I say, uh, in a writ filed at the Apex Court, that is the Supreme Court, Monday, November 7, 2022, Brunia Jemfi argued that the legislature or legislator, sorry, the legislator was convicted of fraud in Australia before 2020 elections and therefore was not disqualified to be a legislator per Article 94.2 CI of the 1992 Constitution. The writ invoking the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court to interpret and enforce the 1992 Constitution has named Mr. Idrisu, the Electoral Commission EC and the Attorney General AG as defendants. Article 92 CI of the 1992 Constitution um, stipulates that a person shall not be qualified to be an MP if he has been qualified. No, he has been he has been convicted for high crime under this Constitution or high treason or treasons or for an offense involving the security of state fraud, dishonesty or moral turpitude. End of quote. Mr. Jemfi's case focuses on the fraud and dishonesty aspect of the above constitutional provision. However, per Article 94.5 of the 1992 Constitution, 1992 Constitution, a person caught under Article 94.2 CI would not be qualified to be a legislator for 10 years after he had served his or her sentence. It is the content, it is this contention of the plaintiff that Mr. Idrisu, who is a legislator on the ticket of the new patriotic party prior to contesting as an MP was a resident of Australia. The plaintiff, Yao Broja Jemfi, says to the court in his writ that he has evidence to the effect that while in Australia, Mr. Idrisu fraudulently used the credit card of one Mr. Gideon Tafon, a Cameroonian national to make purchases for which he was charged and convicted and i quote the plaintiff has said that while res so basically from what i am reading here no this case was sent to court before election 2020 uh no this case was filed in 2022 so if this was filed in 2022 how come say the whole case we who an attorney general does not care about this case attorney general has not shown any interest in this case 
and I twenty twenty three. Attorney General is so busy going after Jachi Kwesen. So it is looking more like Amam Fuan Samoka said the Attorney General is being selective about case or say OD any day this or OD. No, it is true. Same applies to the special prosecutor. Special prosecutor so to and on the case, a uh, Gabi Deno, and no, the Diana Gabi Deno only the Attorney General today, as we speak, why has he refused to follow this case up to make sure said this case it's moved quickly in the court for us to get to the bottom of it? Why is the Chief Justice also not interested in making sure say we don't have a criminal in our uh, our parliament? So it is looking like the Attorney General has more to deal with but he has ignored it to move directly or straight forward to go and harass the ndc candidates ah he has nothing on and this clearly shows to say we are in a country where so because of witch hunt and because of people are weaponizing uh, using uh, the, the positions they have Using a uh, yeah, the attorney general's uh, uh, office, people are using a uh, yeah, their small power. No, they are using it against people deliberately, and this is a clear cut a uh, yeah, example. Ah, uh, actually, said Godfrey Dame is basically doing politics with the attorney general's office, and it is dangerous. It is dangerous for our democracy because the attorney general signs uh, away in our way in any. For the past two years, now Odi Asamwechi and saying say he wants Jachi Kwesin to be in court every single day. And then you know say there's a problem with our judiciary and the justice system. You need to understand say we have an attorney general who is basically doing party job instead of being the number one Eddie, lawyer of the nation. Now this brings us to end the editorial, no? and end the editorial, no? it is clear. People have spoken about how the Attorney General basically about Jachi question issue now. It is clear, say Attorney General is basically using Jachi question to please any political party, the president, and also his uh, political uh, ambition. What we are seeing our uh, Ghana and then say Jachi question as some Why is it said today when we the media? When the the so-called uh, yeah, intellectuals, the so-called legal brains, when they are speaking, they refuse to speak about the EC's uh, yeah, contribution to uh, yeah, the Kwesin's case. Because one thing we need to understand, the Electoral Commission, among um, um, the rights, the Constitution have given them the right to do what? To conduct elections in Ghana. Now the question we, we want to ask before I start speaking on this matter is, the Electoral Commission, if they have the right to disqualify applicants from contesting from election of uh, elections, sir, don't they have the same right to check fraud, to check documents that are not legitimate? A simple question. Because if they have the right to stop a uh, yeah, people, applicants who have submitted documents to contest an election, now say almost to me, I stop it for some reason. Why can't they also have the same power to stop a uh, to stop a uh, 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 fraudulent material and a document people want to use in contesting? Because it is the electoral commission that has the right to give anybody the green light to contest an election. So if the electoral commission has the power to disqualify, they also need to have that power to do what? To be able to stop a uh, fraud or to stop anybody who is thinking or planning to add uh, abuse or deliberately lie to the system to get through to contest. Now, the question is, you know, why did we end up in the Supreme Court? Why are we now back to court? Why are we now wasting our time on the question? And then electoral commission now on Monankasa air the prime people are assembly start to you know why have they kept silent? Why are they not speaking? And why are we sidelining the electoral commission that played a major role in the determination in determining whether somebody is qualified or not to run for a, a, a electoral office in Ghana? Because the attorney general does not have the right to determine whether somebody should be an MP or not. 
the uh, yeah the the supreme court does not have the power to determine that this person qualifies to contest an election or not it is the electoral commission that has the power to determine that kevin he has the right to contest an election or not it is their sole responsibility so electoral commission you know, our power now then don't they have measures in place to stop people who want to at the end of the day swindle the system to beat us to come take political positions now so the attorney general Utie a MPP surrogate, MPP commentators are they are all not comfortable when you bring the electoral commission in this conversation. Added ja Jachi Kwesi ni attorney general nya na a Jachi Kwesi na seminal estative free he. Where did it start? Now let's do a brief a um a recount of Jachi Kwesi issue. No Jachi Kwesi no a gun in Oko Katana Canada and Okunya Canadian citizenship or be a dual citizen. And in 2019, and a Jachi Kwesi saw a sober Ghana. Now, Obe contested for a year, a year, a political position. Into 2019, and I'll catch a Canadian since I'm going passport. Today, as I hand over my passport to you, I'm no more Canadian. I am going back to my motherland. I am going there to contest for a year, a year political position. So I'm no more Indian. I'm no more Canadian. So the time now, Jachi question, a two in two, every Canada, no, the Canadians knew. Officially or unofficially, uh, official said Jachi Kwesin was no more a Canadian. That is fine. Now Jachi Kwesin by Ghana, no. What he came to do is say Obeji forms. Obeji forms, no. And now Oko Fele forms, no. Say Opese or contested as a the MP to go to Parliament. Now Jachi Kwesin, Ekoji forms, no. Some people notified a year electoral commission said Jachi Kwesin ye Ghana ni. In the time I easy Fred Jachi question and a Jachi question catch a easy say. Yes, now me to Canada. Now me a Canada D. Me the Canadian passport and I'm on my renounce my citizenship. Right now, no, I am in Ghana. I am picking a form. Now I have also done what? I have also requested for a renunciation certificate. Remember, that was the time of COVID 19 na Abba. Oba America cry. That time, so what kind of passport cry? They will tell you, say, passport a baby two weeks, no, a baby six weeks, and not eight weeks, because everything had come to an hot, a hot. Now, the article is in court, easy, no, and I'll catch it easy for say, mo, and I'm going to cry, and I'm going to say, yeah, fat. Now, my fat cry, no, the reason why I may pick it, I tell you, I'm going to say, as I speak today to you, I don't have any passport, I trust me, a Canadian. I can tell you on authority and on fact to say my passport as a Canadian, I have given to the Canadian pass, uh, uh, government. I have requested for a renunciation certificate. So I am telling you, take my word that I am no more a Canadian and put this on record. Now, Judge Kwesin, when he went to meet Isino, there were timelines and an electoral commission that has the responsibility to make sure say nobody contest an election whilst they are not Ghanaian. No? They said, okay, we hear. Now, at a later date, no, Jati Kwesi went to the EC. The time Jati Kwesi went to the EC in 2020 before the real elections, no, he went to show the EC that this is the renunciation certificate you were asking me the other time. Even though I have officially renounced my citizenship by handing over my passport number, Canadians, no. Now, most of the people are dancing at you know, a dance in me. Now, remember, time I just question, go easy first, no. Just question had already filled the forms. Just question had before renounced his citizenship in Canada. Now, COVID, about the processes are slow. Later, later, Canadians release that document, said Just question, I'm part. This date, remember, we are talking about timelines here. This date, you know, Jati Kwesin renounced his citizenship as a Can Canadian. In the, from that day now, then the passport to Maya, you know, we accepted and, re and, and, and notified that he is no more Canadian. But we are also bringing this document at his request to prove, say, he has actually done it. Because I never got a Nibia and call Canada. So the document that came, you know, it was just an assurance and a proof, say, what he said he did in Canada. No, why, yeah. That process, no, in Kungan and Nibia. Now, Jati Kwesin went to the EC, showed them the document, and the EC, Jane Mensah, Bossman, and the Srebo said, no problem. 
We are the electoral commission. We make sure we scrutinize the system before anybody can contest elections. So Jati Kwesin went ahead and contested. Now, after Jati Kwesin won the elections, MPP for Kwama Attorney General on Waka say, Sad time a Jati Kwesin ever pick a form, sir. Na all fellas or person or contest, no. Emum, na wa renouncing the citizenship of Canada. Nen so, na on fa kra time a Ghana say, or a day, or a Ghanaian foe, na on your Canada knee. Into that period, na Jati Kwesin, Ambe Boja, one may outdooring, one quite a piece of a man castle or renouncing, or more MPP, the Omo Tiasia, into Jati Kwesin, Afomomra, remember. When Jati Kwesin came to Ghana, he met the Electoral Commission. Now, I don't think he said Jati Kwesin could share Electoral Commission, no. Thank you, Mr. S. Let me show this. There are two questions you could share electoral commission. No? There are timelines. And I'm a boy. And then sometimes we say attorney general say, is this is it going after the two questions because of timelines? And I say, the two questions has broken the law. Now, so we share renunciation document now. There are two questions echo electoral commission. When you read the document here, Mr. S, I think I had to put everything. There is a clear difference between citizenship and allegiance. Clearly, before Kwesin was elected and sworn in as MP on the 7th of January 2021, he owed no allegiance to any other country. This document you are seeing here, the date of the renunciation was the 26th of Eden, 26th of December 2020. Twenty sixth of November, sorry. So this renunciation a uh, document na a free Canada for no buy no. It states say twenty sixth of November twenty twenty. That means it was like almost over a month before election twenty twenty. Remember, the elections were held in twenty twenty December. This certificate that Jati Kwesi received from the Canadians, it was on the 26th of November, 2020. So he received the certificate. That shows that he is no more a Canadian month or over before election 2020. So Jati Kwesi did not have any what? Any citizenship link or allegiance to any country. The day the first ballot was cast in Ghana. The day electoral commission opened elections in Ghana, no, not Jachi question, he did not hold or he did not have any allegiance with any country. Jachi question was a sole Ghanaian citizen. He wasn't a Canadian. So I am asking the electoral commission. Now, why is this say uh, and the asama ye cano? The attorney general going after Jachi question. No? The question is, why is nobody Questioning the electoral commission. Why didn't the Supreme Court question the electoral commission? Because the Supreme Court does not have the mandate to verify people before they contest elections. The Attorney General does not have the mandate to verify anybody before they run for elections. It is the electoral commission that has the mandate to make sure that a foreigner does not do what does not run for electoral office in Ghana. Now the question here is, what are the responsibilities of the electoral commission? Omojuman is saying, "Jati kwe sin case no ena yechire chimuno. Jati kwe sin case no yepesi busa electoral commission say, in our Ghanaian law, the attorney general does not have the right to stop anybody from contesting. The attorney general does not conduct elections in Ghana." The Supreme Court, they do not contest elections in, conduct elections in Ghana. It is only the Electoral Commission, which is a state institution. Now, the Electoral Commission now, in the case where Abana, we are not hearing them. They are not speaking. You know? What was their job? What is the responsibility of the Electoral Commission? Remember, there is a reason why in TR, when you go to every institution, there are and yet, their responsibilities. Now, from what the Attorney General is saying, it means to say, when somebody comes to contest for an election in Ghana, that person 
there is no way the electoral commission can stop that person it is all called back now abu sakande at the musa at the end of the day obina be tip off today the electoral commission is not mentioned in the court case but the attorney general is saying jachi question has committed a crime i didn't try almost say obina be tip off now let's go back into the books name musa questions be now look at this come 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 what are the functions of the electoral commission? When I go into my busa, sir, questions will be a me busa send me. The commission uses functional de departmentalization for greater efficiency by dividing work tasks between specialized teams. We are able to provide better voter assistance and faster poll process to millions of Ghanaian citizens. Electoral Commission, I'm functions, I'm going to give you a say, I'm say, I'm going to give a say, I'm going to give you a I'm going to give you a easy send you a say, I'm going to give you a say, I'm going to give you a say, I'm going Eye Ghana for no, ebe wu soma tuwa ba, sebi yo, eye kro jin. Inti, omu juma omu diye no, ene sa diye. Sen ye be ya, juma diye ni nansi, omu be si se, nyoma ye, atutu nyoma, na abatu wano be kro jin, na omu be chiche muma, eye omu juma diye omu di no, diye efa wu se, eye computerization system, diye efa data, eye ose ni nina no, omu juma, omu a se diye, so, omu kika sa nyoma ni nina si niya, ebe ma abatu wano ako toti, ewo Ghana. Now, who could him now? Utie the functions of the electoral commissioner. Listen. One, provide input for the formulation of policies. I'm say electoral commission. What do you mean? Say, say you about by your policies. We Ghana. I'm also able to contribute. Now through that, and then I'm here. If you say you about referendum, no electoral commission took part. They mo they they supervise the referendum. Referendum no na ye ba the in uh yeah regions in Siabeka Ghana Hon. Electoral Commission play the role and through their role no they help in conducting uh, yeah, the elections and these are some of the things they do to help support policies near their day. Two exercises oversight responsibility for efficient and effective management of human resource of the commission. Omo juma de no omo function be in say a yeah. Human resource, ni pomu ye ejuma ewo, eye electoral commission, eye gana and potemu biano, omu make sure se obia ejuma oye no, o dise oye, do ye de e also ye, na sed ye oye, omu juma de we so omu be bwa obiano, ni pa omu ni omu ye juma, ewa headquarters, any gana mbia bi biano, omu juma de ni binise, sanko fori nya, a kandi also munya di ye jumano, omu nya monsaka. Function number three, ensure the development of human resource. Human resource management manuals for the commission. Omo se ni nina omo bwa omo juma diye ni biya ni se omo be omo bwa nipa omo be chere eye nipa omo ni omo ye juma no am manage am make sure se eye Ghana eye eba abat wani nyama nyama die omo be hiya dumbe ibi biya no omo be dim ama bibia ako tati. Four, ensure the implementation of human resource management policies and systems for the commission. Ni nina e almost the same job. Five, ensure the organizational design and HR planning of the commission. It's in internal. Omu juma diani bino no. Sene beya human relations. Eye ombe mekisho so omu amuni electoral commission ye juma biano. Omu ba omu ahun ba mbo. Omu e juma di e omu tutu ye bibiano. Ni ina eka omu juma di e no. Oba number six, ensure the maintenance of a cordial management. Organized labor relationship. Or maybe make sure say, we be on the electoral commission here. Jumebi ano. Sebio, we juma ewa electoral commission. That's electoral commission. Aye, enter by nasia. Sebio, aye, fanghudi a oso unyadi ewa juma. We be in tieti a fanghudi so. Send your baby ya. Nipa be buso ye nipa. We be in tieti a o. En tieti a fanghudi so. We be to manage agene. Enya aye ahumka. Enya sebio aye environmental be ye juma ma bibia akototi. Oko number eight na coordinates, monitors and review staff training policies and plans for the commission. Omo make sure say eh yeah omo mu ye juma electoral commission no omo juma di omo di ene sebi o ye train omo ye bi omo jum omo ko school ema ye titi omo ye ma bi juma mu ye ni na akoti tati no electoral commission so omo juma di ni bi no now ko we nim na me chwa di bi now oko function three ensure the development and implementation of welfare and safety policy 
and agencies of government and other state stakeholders on on issues related to human resource so these are all internal things are uh, a yomo functions now when you come to a uh, year electoral commission omoju madjeni been in the same tiwi ye research monitoring and evaluation department our electoral commission omoju madjeni saying the department develops policies where kind of corporate service division no? there's a department in the electoral commissioner omo juma na mebe chido no human resource hr department of course was research monitoring and evaluation department now it says the department develops policies and procedures on the human resource matters for the effective and efficient administration of the commission develop policies for effective manpower planning acquisition utilization and retention of staff of the commission in summary provides technical direction and leadership for the effective and efficient performance of the human resource management functions of the commission it is a the monitoring evaluation and research department now their job is simple they have to make sure say when it comes to the electoral commission almost administrative work bbr sebio a crater some of the electoral commission no the research and monitoring and evaluation department you know they serve as the firewall to scrutinize every a year activity administrative activity in tabasa electoral commission a be a nomination a be a year A B A nomination, A B A a year a lot of a year uh, administrative things be or some yeah. Omo a department uh, that basically what it does is it needs to monitor and evaluate, do the research. Into every time I say electoral commission, I start the a day a G nominations. They have a team, they have a research team, they have a valuation team, they have they have an evaluation team. Uh, they evaluate every single document that goes through their process. In the electoral commissioner or no, at the end of the day, they have a firewall that protects them from fraud, that protects them from people trying to take advantage of the system. Now, if they are telling us, say, the electoral commission cannot be blamed for the articulation issue now, the question here is, so electoral commission no any mechanisms to check, say, will be ever by the contest the elections or Ghana. Na sani pane to say tolong MP no obi to say eye adamu sakande if the electric commission does not have a system that can detect fraud that can detect manipulation that can detect eye people holding dual citizenship then it means to say Ghana as a nation no somebody can come from Sudan live in Ghana go and pick a form and contest as a flag bearer win an election. And become the president of Ghana. Because if the electoral commission is not going to take responsibility for the oversight responsibility, uh, they did not do uh, then it means the electoral commission there, no, they are not supposed to be there. If that is the argument of the attorney general, uh, that the, it is not the fault of the electoral commission, the argument the attorney general is making in the say everybody knows the law that if you know that you are holding a dual citizenship if you know you are not a Ghanaian, you should not contest but every law there is a potential there, is the, there are potential people who will try to break the law every single law in this world there are people who deliberately want to break the law so you will need some mechanism and i said some checks to stop anybody who even even they know Deliberately tries to break the law can be stopped because from the attorney general's argument, you know, the articulation should have known. Now I was saying the articulation in who say so we are dual citizen, we are foreigner, you cannot contest. That is right. But the issue is, is everybody like the articulation? There are some people who sometimes decide to so break the law. No? So what mechanism na easy edia to say obi try deliberately to break the law? Now say Ankonya tip off edi say Abu. Uh, 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 because our demo second day, somebody tip us off, and you will say we run parliament illegally in case Anka demo second day, Nanka or your flag bearer, Nanka Satan with the president. Adamu second day, 
time I caught saying no, no, we were parliament. We he could have been a presidential candidate. At the most second, could have been ruling Ghana as an illegal Ghanaian. So why couldn't or why couldn't the EC that has been given the mandate to make sure say answer na obi an pobe to me aku contest for election? No, that person has been scrutinized because there is a reason why I want police service in Ghana. Now say our Ghana police service sir. We expect to say every driver on the road of Ghana driving is qualified because you have gotten your driver's license. The moment you get your driver's license, automatically you should be able to drive. The moment you are driving a car in Ghana, automatically you know the laws. You have been given a license, so you are permitted to drive. Now, why is it say you were a yet Ghana police service? Then so in the police service, you were MTTU. Apart from the MTT, you know, you were crossing guards, you were red lights, you were zebra crossing, you were stop sign. Why do you think they have that? Even though, even though the system knows, say, you have the right to drive, you can acquire a Ghana driver's license and you are legitimate to drive on the street, you know, there is still the possibility and the probability of people driving on the road without driver's license. So they need MMT, MTTU. They need the red light. They need the zebra to check drivers who are driving on the streets without the, 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 the right, uh, uh, who have deliberately decided to break the law. And we cannot sit and pretend as if say, what is happening? Ah, electoral commission is the cause, you know. Electoral commission should not be blamed. We are supposed to blame the electoral commission. As I speak, the Supreme Court is supposed to be directing the electoral commission to go and resolve this matter, not the attorney general. Because if the electoral commission we have does not have any mechanism put in place to make sure nobody breaks it, even though the law says that if you're not 18, if you're a foreigner, so when you're gone and you want to be contested, there are people who like to test the system. Now, Abdebu Sekande tested the system. The EC gave Abdebu Sekande the green light to go. Now, what are the mechanisms there? What is the EC doing to stop this? Because if Abdebu Sekande was contesting as the flag bearer of the NPP, Abdebu Sekande could have been an illegal president. So we can sit in Ghana today, per the EC's analogy, uh, per the Attorney General's analogy, that the articles should know Say answer the question forms, you know. Say own renouncing here any certificate I cannot pick. It is fine. But the question here is: the articles you copy came from the court is, you know, whose job is it to say say you can't cross this line because you have not satisfied a yet the day in the rules and regulations? Somebody should be able to stop a day the articles, stop Ademu Sakande, stop anybody who is trying to cross the line. Does the EC have any mechanism? And the Ghana Police Service Law, why do they have MTTD? Why do they have the MTTD or the whatever who are on the street? Because everybody driving in Ghana has a legitimate driver's license. We expect that everybody driving on the street of Ghana has a license and they know the rules and regulations on the road. Why do we still have the MTTU department in the Ghana Police Service? Because it is their responsibility to make sure that somebody enforces the law. Who is enforcing the law at the Electoral Commission? Because... You can't tell me, say, because you have built a house and it is nice and you have security dogs and you have security uh, yeah, lights, nobody will try to rob you. People will still try to rob you. Now, the question here is, and send and conform robbery, you know, the mechanisms you have put in place, the NDA, that is why you have a war. But after the war, you have a dog. What's dying? You have a war. That is security. After the door, after the war, you have a dog. After the dog, you have a security door. Why do you do that? Because it is the responsibility. Somebody needs to take responsibility. The EC is supposed to make sure nobody crossed the line. Because uh, and then we cannot blame the EC for what has happened. We cannot blame EC for all that we are going through and saying, say, somebody has deliberately done what? Bro broken the law. The question here is, what are the mechanisms that EC put in place so that nobody breaks the law? Because if somebody from Nigeria comes today and pretend as if he's Ghanaian, gets Ghana card illegally, contests for an election to be president, and that person wins, and that person becomes president, after eight years, we get to know that he is not Ghanaian. Who are we going to blame? Who gave the person the green light to contest the elections in the first place? That is what we have to be looking at. So the Attorney General, basically his work, what he's trying to do, does not make any sense. 
The reason why the Supreme Court and the Court and Attorney General are protecting Jay Mensah is because they know when they bring Jay Mensah to court, this case will end there. The Supreme Court and the Attorney General, they are protecting the Electoral Commission because they know the Electoral Commission, they have failed Ghanaians. From all that we are seeing today, the Tolon MP, Abu Sakande's issue, what we are seeing today clearly tells you, say, the Electoral Commission is useless. They cannot, basically, they do not have any mechanism to stop anybody who wants to contest Ghana's election illegally. They don't. If the Supreme Court could not blame the Electoral Commission, because any Supreme Court will call the Electoral Commission and say, you are the only people with the right to conduct elections in Ghana. Now, the question is going to come back to you. Let us know whether he qualifies to run or not. Per your mechanisms and your structure, does he qualify to contest the elections? Because we are all not angels. Obviously, there are people who want to break the law. Like Abu Sekande, he took this risk and he got through and he was an MP. He, he was able to use the taxpayers' money to his benefit. Abu Sekande could have been the president. We can have another Abu Sekande who will be the president of the Republic of Ghana. And what are we going to say in the Supreme Court? The EC did not have the mandate to stop Abu Sekande from contesting. The first line of action is the EC to scrutinize every single person before they penetrate. If the EC could not, then you don't have any case against Jachi Kwesin. You will not have any case because the EC that has been given the mandate by the constitution to deliver and set the standard for people to struggle to pass through, the EC let people through. Now back to Kwesin's issue. Has the EC ever made a statement that they did not question question for question to justify the reason why that happened the easy question 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 justify the reason why that happened and the easy sat back and analyzed their system and said yes you have the green light so why is the attorney general today going after jachi question why are we not going after the electoral commission why are we allowing the electoral commission to be there like they've not committed any crime what is happening today, the main culprit is the Attorney General, not Quayson. Quayson has done nothing wrong. In the first place, Quayson has not committed any crime. Quayson has not produced any fake document. Quayson never lied to the Electoral Commission. When you look at the timelines and the meeting Quayson had with the Electoral Commission, Quayson had his renunciation certificate almost a month before the elections. Quayson sat with the Electoral Commission and showed them we were in COVID era. So for the Attorney General to say, I am basing on the timing because when you picked it, your document had not come from Canada. The Attorney General is stupid. Who was supposed to stop Quaysen and say that, Quaysen, wait, you cannot file this now. Let this come. If you believe it's going to come before the elections, if even it's five days before the election, we can make sure you go through. That is what the Attorney General, uh, the Electoral Commission does. But Electoral Commission gave Kwesin the green light and assured him that he has done the right thing. So why are we here? Why are we going after Kwesin? Why are we leaving the Electoral Commission that was supposed to be the first contact, the first line of contact that was supposed to scrutinize the system? It does not mean Kwesin is guilty, but the possibility of people coming to contest elections in Ghana and riding all the way to the top as the President of the Republic is 99.9% .9 right. You know why? Because tomorrow, you will get a Nigerian. You will get an American. You will get somebody with another citizenship or another uh, 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 nationality. Come and pick a document at the Electoral Commission. If God is not on our side and nobody comes to tip the Attorney General off or tip the EC off, we will end up having a foreigner as the President of the Republic of Ghana. Kwesin was able to show these people his renunciation certificate 10 days before elections. 10 days. And the EC said, yes, go. So what wrong has he done? The wrong he did was that he came to pick that form, that form that had not been submitted. That form that had not been put in the system. That form that did not automatically say you have become an MP. That form makes him what? He has committed a crime. But is it an automatic, uh, 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 an automatic thing that when you pick the form, you become an MP. 
Who said that today when you pick a form? And today, me being an American, if I pick a form in Ghana to do this, does it automatically mean I am no more an American? Does it mean I'll be an MP? Until the person files the document and the person is sworn in in parliament. So what is your case here, Attorney General? What wrong has, has Grayson done? The people we are supposed to be looking at and blaming is the Electoral Commission of Ghana because consistently this same thing has happened. Why are we not looking at the problem? Why are we not finding ways to solve the problem? The problem is the Electoral Commission. The problem is the commission that is not willing to accept that they have let us down. The Jane Mensa Electoral Commission is full of fools who don't want to accept that they have let the people down. And the Supreme Court, you are not supposed to even involve yourself in this. When the case came to the Supreme Court, you were supposed to direct the Electoral Commission. Electoral Commission, take this case. We want you to go back into your books. Check the timelines. Let us know whether Kwesin at that moment qualified to contest or not. If the Electoral Commission comes and says, we, at that point, all that Kwesin told us was a lie and that he did not deserve to qualify. The question will be, then why did you put him on the, on the, on the voting paper? So, so many green light, red lights showing that the Electoral Commission, basically, they are supposed to be blamed, not Kwesin. And in the first place, what crime did Kwesin cause? Bonnie Ben or Kwesin, yeah, yeah. Why are we leaving the Electoral Commission to go and blame Kwesin? Why are we going after Kwesin? Why is this Attorney General so interested in Kwesin? Why are we not interested in what the Electoral Commission did? Because one day, one day, one day, one day, we will wake up and we will have somebody from Somalia being the President of the Republic. One day, one day, when we are not lucky for somebody to go and tip off uh, yeah, the Attorney General or the EC, we will end up having somebody from Sudan being the President of the Republic. We will end up somebody from Nigeria being the President of the, of the, of the Republic of Ghana. And it is bound to happen. It is bound to happen. Every day we are relying on tip off. Every day we are relying on tip off. One day, nobody will tip anybody off. We will have a foreigner in the Jubilee House as the President of the Republic of Ghana. My name is Kevin Ekobedu Taylor. After this short break, I'll pick phone calls. You still my name is Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV, dear, I see them. You pull.